Thank you. Well, Arizona schools are back in session, but there's no question whether in person or online, this school year looks different than ever before. Team 12's Bianca Bono caught up with families and students, each with a different kind of classroom, to get a snapshot of what their first day looked like. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. And back to school pictures, typically capturing the nerves and excitement of a fresh start, a new chapter. But this year's pictures represent a new time and school in the age of a pandemic. I got new classmates. For Kate and Tendick, Monday marked a milestone, the first day of second grade. Some of you them are still the same that are in um, that I did in kindergarten and in first grade. But this year, instead of seeing those familiar faces in person, Caden saw them on screen. Well, I could like swipe and uh, I could see all my friends. Caden's in the Kyrene School District, starting the year with online learning only. And day one was far from perfect. It wasn't logging in on any of the browsers. After a lunch break, more tech troubles. By 1.30, 1.40, all the kids were kind of by themselves. A random student was the host. The teacher was gone. A different story, though, in Queen Creek. It was really fun. The Porter kids masked up and were back in person. It was nice to be back and see all my friends and the teachers. Something critically important for Gibson Porter, who has special needs. I had a great day. It is so much easier for me to learn when I am at school. They all said that academically it was a hundred times easier to be in class. Senior Ryan Giacinto is somewhere in the middle. The school starts at 8.15. I was able to wake up at around 8.10. His hybrid schedule at American Leadership Academy starts online, but when it comes time for orchestra class, he heads to campus. I'm glad that he can go for the two orchestra classes that he has. Regardless of how the first day looked, just one day in, and students and parents alike are already learning lessons. For some, patience. You ask that the parents are patient with the school, but also that the school recognizes some of the frustration of the parents. And others. They were ready to go. Gratitude. And definitely have a whole new appreciation for in-person learning. Bianca Bono. And a whole new appreciation for their teachers. 12 News.